Hello again and welcome to Writing Sentences 2B where we will be including EA as the second most used spelling choice for the sound E and OA for the sound O. And you may be thinking, well, that is an awful lot in one lesson. But I want you to also consider your other skills. You have also been learning about open and closed syllables. And I will be giving you prompts for some of the words when it is really helpful to use them and a spelling language. So let's take a look at these spelling choices. If I hear the sound A, then I spell it with the letter A if I hear it right at the end of a syllable or all on its own in a syllable. If I hear it in the middle of a word, my first choice is A consonant E. Second choice, A I. For the sound E, end of a syllable or all on its own, the letter E. First choice, double E. Second choice, E-A, and occasionally, E consonant E. I is written with an I at the end of a syllable or all on its own in one. I consonant E, first choice, I-G-H, second choice. And O, written with an O. And you can see because it's right at the end of my finger, that's the reminder for end of a syllable or all on its own in a syllable. O consonant E, first choice, O A, Second choice, if we hear it in the middle of a word, but sometimes that can be in the middle of a syllable as well, if it's a longer word. Lots of spelling choices, but we have the skills to deal with them. And you, we will be adding those skills very soon. U and U will both be used in this lesson. Oh, now this lets us know that our story must have something to do with a boat. Let's see what the title is. Lost in a floating dream. So let's write lost in a to begin with. Capital L because it's a title. Lost in a. And then floating has that O sound using O A. Give it a capital letter because it's part of the title. Bloating. We begin with foo. Then we are spelling o before t and the suffix that we need. Long vowel sound, so there's no need to double. Dream uses the other spelling choice that we have been thinking about. E-A. 
I had a dream. I had a dream. And I could have said dream to help me. But I can't think of a word for dream that uses a double E. So maybe I didn't need to do that at all. Next part. And in it, I... And in it, I stood in a coat, stood using double O. In a coat, which does have O in the middle. On a real boat. On a real boat and boat rhymes with coat and has the same spelling choice for that O sound it floated it Floated. We have float and we've added suffix ed. It floated smoothly. We've added a different suffix. Smooth. And then suffix ly. It floated smoothly. On the clear, on the clear, and a comma, because we're going to add another word to describe it. After we've said hi to the crab, and goodbye for now. <laughs> that crab must be appearing in our story. Clean sea. Clean can be clean. And sea is a word with that spelling choice, even though it's not in the middle of a word. As I looked beneath it, as I looked, and no need to double because it wasn't a short vowel sound in the starter word, Beneath, two different choices for the sound E. Beneath, and we covered that in writing words to be. Beneath it, and then a comma. I spotted it 
And did you remember to double the T? Because we had O as our vowel sound in the starter word. I spotted a crab on the a crab on the beads. Be ads, you could say. Of sand. And it spotted me. Spot, double the T to add the suffix ED. Me, a little word that is spelt like a syllable. It grinned. It grinned. Grin has also got I in our starter word. So yes, we double that N. And we have an exclamation mark. Now, I'm not sure crabs do grin, but this was a dream. Hmm, now this looks to me like a stadium. Huh, I wonder where the dream will go now. Then... The boat stopped. Then the boat stopped. Another short vowel in the starter word. Stopped. We double again because of it. And I got off as what do you reckon? Thinking about that stadium. I got off when we hear that f, the end of a one syllable word with a short vowel sound. Yes, we double it for the word off as. And football is a word, some foot and ball, and we add suffix er on a pitch. Now, pitch has got sounds in it that we haven't covered, so I am going to say the letter names. I don't normally include words if we haven't covered the spellings for the sound. But this one was needed because there was no other word that described exactly where our storyteller was. On a P I T C H on a pitch. I even
even had the right kit on. Whoa, now that is some dream. That's right, I even had. I even had the right and this has the I-G-H spelling kit on and an exclamation mark because the person was so surprised to be there. Now you will notice that I haven't said who the person was and you can decide when you illustrate your story. I ran, kicked and... I ran, and a comma, kicked, and that suffix ed sounded like t, but we know it's ed when we're talking or writing about something that has happened. And... Do you think will be next? <laughs> that lets us know. Did it bounce off the goal? Let's wait and see. Scored a goal. Now score. We are using the first spelling choice for O in the middle of a word. But it doesn't really sound right in the word score or scored. So you might want sco red as your spelling language. Sco red. Scored. Ah. Goal. And that did sound right. OA does sound like O. Wow, that's an amazing dream. I cheered till. Now we haven't written until because we haven't covered the letter U yet. So don't forget the apostrophe for those missing letters. I cheered. And cheer has our most used spelling choice. Apostrophe and till. With just one L. Because until that we've shortened wasn't a one-syllable word. I had a sore throat. I had a sore. And this is a bit like score without the C. O consonant E, but we know that that R can change the sound of the vowel. And throat, we were using O A. That must have been a lot of cheering. I had helped the team. End their best season. 
I had, well, I think, fit at the end of that line. Helped the team. We have help as our starter word. And we didn't need to double because there were already two consonants after that vowel. Team. Could have been said T-am. End there. Now this there isn't about the position of something. End there. So it's T-H-E-I-R. And I've not dotted the I, I've put a little face because we're writing about something that the team did. It was their best season. The person's or the team's best season. And that little face over the eye lets us know which order E and I are in. Best season. Season. We've got the word see that we've used already. And then son would be a way of remembering, especially when we tend to actually say season. I wonder what happens next. This looks like something completely different. We have a loaf of bread. Okay, let's see where that fits in. Then I am scooting along a road. Then I am scooting. Now that's k. Think about the letter that will come after the k to decide whether to put a C or a K. And it was a C because it's followed by an O. Scooting. Do you think they're on a scooter? Or just going really fast? A long. A road a road I had a loaf I had a loaf Comma. So we know there's something else that he had. Some meat. Now, some is one of those words that we need a strategy for. So how about some of my eggs as a first sound spelling strategy? Some, I write the S of, I write an O, my, I write an N, E in eggs, I write the letter E. And meat, if you're pondering over whether it's a double E or an EA, could say me at.
and some beans. And some, again, so you get two chances, some of my eggs. Beans. And that could be beans, if you weren't sure which one to write. In a bag. In a bag. I hope it's beans on toast for tea, I said. But I think we'll just fit I hope in here. I after the speech marks and hope is an O consonant E. I hope it's shortened it is well done on remembering that apostrophe beans on toast and that O is written O-A for tea T, like C, has got that E-A at the end of the word. That's the end of what the dreamer said. So we write, I said, after the comma. Ooh! Now, this looks like a sign you'd see on a road. And it has got the A-I for A. So we have Craig End Drive. I wonder where that fits in. I looked at the street name to read it. Let's write that bit. I looked and again it sounds like t at the end but we know it's ED at the street. First choice spelling for E, street, name, and that's a first choice for A, name, to read it. And read, well, we could say re -add to remind us of the letters to use to read it. Oh, golly, that took a long time, didn't it? Just to dot the I and cross the T. And groaned. So we'll write the starter word groan first and then add suffix ed. Please let me find home. And we have speech marks because this is what they say. Please let. And please is another tricky word to write. 
And I have worked with pupils that have picked all sorts of different ways of remembering. One of them liked, please ask. Because the ass in ask reminded him that he had please. Please let me find home. Me find home. First choice for O in home and find rhymed with kind so we know it's a kind old word spelling I think they're either feeling very hungry or very sad to not know where they are this is home Ah, this must be somebody else talking. So let's go down to start a new paragraph. Speech marks. And this is home. With an exclamation mark because that's how it was said. heard dad speak. I and for heard we write the word here for when we hear something but we don't add suffix ed we just add the d. I heard Dad, <laughs> and there they are, sound asleep in bed, just beginning to wake up, speak, especially when you hear someone speaking. He repeated, he re and then peat and then suffix ed. He repeated, this is home and smiled. and smiled. And in that word, we had our starter word, smile, but we dropped the E before we added suffix ED. It was a vowel consonant E word and that is when we drop the E. I think that must have been a bad dream. We don't need a new paragraph because it's still dad speaking. Speech marks and then I think. That must And did you notice I did squeeze in 
the letter U. Just to get you ready for the lesson when it appears. Must. When we heard A, uh, we wrote the letter U. Have been a bad dream. Have and this been. Be in for something that isn't a bean you eat. Be and then n as a syllable. A bad dream. And we can say dream if we like to remember it. I liked it at the beginning. So down a line this time because somebody else is speaking. The somebody else that you can decide who they are. Speech marks and I liked it. And like again we drop the E before we add suffix ED. At the beginning. So we start with begin and then that I is short in gin, so we doubled. Two suffix rules in the same mm. sentence. Ah, uh, so I liked it at the beginning. Well, we know that they're happier now from that face. And then and here we're going to put a comma because we're adding an extra little bit of detail. For no reason, for no re rhymes with C. And we add son at the end. Or we could say re a son. We have another comma. And then for no reason. So now we've had the extra little bit of detail. We carry on with our sentence. I got lost. I... Got lost. I'm glad I'm home again. I'm glad. I'm. So two chances to use that apostrophe because we missed out the a ah in am. I'm home again. Home and then again. We could give it a spelling language again. To remember how to spell it. So that's why the person that we were reading about was very happy. They hadn't actually gone anywhere, but in their dreams, they definitely had. Let's read our story. Lost in a floating dream. I had a dream and in it I stood in a coat 
on a real boat. It floated smoothly on the clear, clean sea. As I looked beneath it, I spotted a crab on the beads of sand and it spotted me. <laughs> it grinned. Then the boat stopped and I got off as a footballer on a pitch. I even had the right kit on. I ran, kicked and scored a goal. I cheered till I had a sore throat. I had helped the team end their best season. Then I am scooting along a road. I had a loaf, some meat and some beans in a bag. I hope it's beans on toast for tea, I said. I looked at the street name to read it and groaned. Please let me find home. This is home, I heard Dad speak. He repeated, this is home and smiled. I think that must have been a bad dream. I liked it at the beginning and then, for no reason, I got lost. I'm glad I'm home again. Well done. That was a lot of work today, a lot of sentences. Why don't you go and read your story to somebody else? But you may like to illustrate it first. Thank you for joining.